This is McCook's Mr. Bill's honor to have you here. You're looking at a microwave. Yep, it's 100 feet from my property line, and it's 150 feet tall. Microwave, nothing could go wrong there. Either if it fell, or just the daily amount of radiation that I'd probably get off of it. And I fought tooth and nail for him not to put it in, but I didn't have the right friends here in McCook. Yeah, I didn't have the right friends that could get it stopped, like the rich man, that they were gonna put it over on his property, next to his property, and he said no, and they said that's okay. Because his he had people on the inside. I didn't. With that in mind though, how about a microwave story? Okay, a microwave tower story. My wife and I and my two little girls were gonna go visit some of our relatives down there in Oakley, Kansas. I said Oakley, Kansas. So we left McCook, went down the canyon and back up that top hill. And there's a bunch of towers up there. I don't know, TV and microwave, all kinds of towers are up there. One of the towers as we drove by, four men were standing at the bottom of that with a pickup next to them. And you could tell they were getting ready to do something, I assume, climb the tower. With that in mind though, we went down and came back. The next day we heard on the radio that three of those men got in a uh, a platform and it raised to the top. Three of them went up, one stayed down. I assume if there had been trouble he could have helped down there, theoretically. The three that went up, they did not put their harnesses on as they were supposed to by regulations and I'm sure law too. And as it got to the top though, as it got to the top, something went wrong, a cable broke, it snapped and jerked the platform enough that it threw those three men off. Those three men fell to their death. And we had just driven by there. Yeah, you never know how close the death angel is to you. Of course, theoretically, every time you drive by a car that's going the other direction, and you're going 65 one way and he's coming by your direction 65 and you miss each other by two feet. You miss each other by probably two feet. There's a good indication that uh, the death angel's busy a lot more than you think. And your guardian angel is too, just trying to keep you and your family alive. You guys have a good day.